Hello, my name is Nikolai Yusupov. I'm a paramedic in New York City. And in this video, I want to show you the specifics of uh, drug dose calculations on Alaris Med System 3 pump. In the previous videos, I talked about mLs per hour, how to set up mLs per hour. And uh, in this presentation, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the drug calculator. And the reason being is mLs per hour is not a true drug dosage. Uh, whenever you are uh, taking a medicine uh, that's running mLs per hour and you're coming to the facility and the physician asks you how many milligrams uh, are you infusing and so forth, that's the drug uh, dose. So mLs per hour is never a drug dose unless you're only infusing fluids like normal saline um, or ringus lactate, then you could say mLs per hour. But for any drugs, you should have either milligrams per hour, micrograms, and so forth. So in this presentation, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up the calculator mode. Because you may arrive at the facility, and it will not show a mouse per hour. It will have, uh, like, let's say, a drug order, like 50 micrograms an hour, uh, a minute, or like uh, 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute, and so forth. So you'll need to know how to do that. So first thing you will do is you arrive at the facility, um, and you're going to check the medicine, right? So we're going to start with the most uh, critical medicine. We're going to start with levofed or nor norepinephrine. It's a potent alpha-1 constrictor. So it's uh, keeping a person's uh, blood pressure and hemodynamics in check. So assuming in this facility uh, we have levofed, right, norepinephrine, the concentration is 8 milligrams and 250 mLs of uh, normal saline. So pretend this is a 250 uh, bag. And imagine this bag was just... Uh, Love, you know, initiated, so it's full 250 ml. However, if you arrive at the facility and this bag has been running, you're gonna turn it to the side and you're gonna see the demarcations over here, and you will say like, okay, maybe it's 25 or it's 50 or whatever the marking will be where the fluid lands, right? So pretend it's brand new 250, right? So you arrive, you you verify. So we have a levofat, eight milligrams into 50, and here I have a drip sheet for levofat, right? This was already pre-calculated uh, prior to that, meaning these are all correct uh, ranges. And obviously, once I put it in, we should have the same um, thing. So here we have norepinephrine, 8 milligrams into 50 ml. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, the initial dose of 10 micrograms a minute. And per this calculation, it says our mLs per hour should be 18.8, right? But imagine we did not have this information. Uh, so what you're going to do, you're going to arrive at the bedside, you're going to do your critical care patient assessment, right? You're going to note their blood pressure and their mean arterial pressure. And with this medicine, if the patient's blood pressure is very low, you can disconnect them for a prolonged period of time to flush your lines. Uh, their hemodynamics will drop. So what you're going to do is, while this is still infusing, you take your syringe. You could use uh, any syringe size you want, 20 to 60 cc. You're going to obviously mark it, levofed, uh, the concentration, right? 8 milligrams into 50. And here I have 10 micrograms a minute. So you'll arrive at the port side, you're going to put your 18 gauge uh, needle because it's quicker to withdraw. And from this port, you're going to withdraw uh, as much medicine as you need for the duration of your transport, right? So this is still running, this is not disconnected, so the patient is never off the medicine, right? And here you already have your drug, right? You labeled it correctly, right? Uh, you put your tape on. Do not put any tape on the unit itself because you're gonna damage the screen and other people cannot see it so put the tape on the syringe and uh, if you want to uh, label the channel itself this is the half set that you will connect it to you're gonna screw the lure like here right and when you put this set into your into your channel right when you put the cassette into the channel here you could write whatever you want to write right you could write levo you could write your dosage your uh, flow rate anything you want so do not write anything on the unit itself so let's say uh, you have everything prepared. Now it's time to input the medicine. You come to the unit. You're going to turn it on, right? We already had it on, right? I use OR2, and you're going to adjust the contrast uh, so you could uh, quickly and adequately see the screen if you need any adjustment. So I think here is the best view for me. Um, I like OR2. This is adult patient, right? Different parameters have different settings. So if it's neonatal, it has... Uh, the amount of air it will let in the channel is less versus an adult one. So adjust it based on the patient population. So you're going to select channel A. Uh, this is the first medicine, right? So we don't know how many mLs an hour. All we know is 10 micrograms a minute, and we know the concentration. So you're going to select channel A. This screen will come up, right? Now we're going to go to a calculator mode. So you're going to click more options, and you'll see calculator on. And that's what we want to do. So first thing, press the channel, more options calculate on so we select the setting right 
this will give you all different drugs you could that you could cycle through here, right? Uh, all the critical care drugs, straight up kinase, propofol, etc. Right? Uh, this is done so if the specific drug is not put it, the parameters are already automatically set. But imagine we, you're not going to use it. We're going to use a drug, and we're going to put all the generic settings. So whenever we use uh, when it says drug by itself, no name, it's going to be generic setting. So drug. All right. This is not a weight-based drug. I'll talk about weight-based drug later. So we're not inputting weight, right? No weight. So concentration. So the concentration, we look at the bag, right? And it should definitely be in the orders. So the concentration is 8 milligrams into 50 ml. That's your concentration. So using these arrows, you're going to select. So up, right? We're going to use fast. 1, 2, 5, right? 7, 5. And now I could go 8. So 8, and it's 8 milligrams, right? So enter. Milligrams is correct. We're going to select it again. And we said it's 250 ml. So again, fast up to 250. Enter, right? So we, were, we talked about we want to infuse it 10 micrograms, right? A minute. There's, it's not a weight based drug. So again, micrograms is correct. Select. There's no kilograms. So we're going to turn it off. And it's a minute, right? Enter. So this is, this is the drug. This is the concentration 8 milligrams into 50. And we're going to put 10 micrograms a minute. So here we go. 10. So 10. Excellent. Set. Right? This says, this is the rate. So now we get 18.8 mLs an hour. So let's double check with the sheet. Right? So at 10, it's 18.8. Right? So this, this uh, pump calculated correctly. So we're great. Everything is good. So here it says VR stands for volume uh, uh, remaining, right? So we said we started a brand new bag. So volume remaining is 250. However, if it was less than that, you would adjust it up and down uh, respectively. So enter. Uh, volume infused, that's how much medicine you already uh, uh, given the person, right? So we gave nothing. We're gonna select, we're gonna choose nothing or clear if it was any settings. And this is for those infused. We didn't infuse any medicine just yet. So it's clear. So select it. So now all the settings are correct. You double check, verified, right? Your, your six patient rights, you know, the right patient, the right drug, uh, the right dose, the right time, the right route, the right documentation. You're going to input your cassette. You label everything, right? And only when you're ready to switch off the pump, you're going to do your transition. Uh, this way, there's minimal interruption in the medication flow. So this was just a flow of basic um, uh, without weight-based. So now I'm going to show you a weight-based calculation, right? So doing quickly, imagine we had a bag and everything like that. So this medicine here is the butamine. This is a, a potent uh, uh, medication as well. It's for your cardiac patients. It has inotropic effects and beta-1 effects, right? Um, so here we have a concentration of 500 milligrams into 50 ml of D5W. Right, and it's a weight based. So initial dose will range between 2.5 and 15 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Right, so let's let's uh, pick um, 80 kilograms, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is going to be channel B. So you're going to do the same operations. You're going to check, take a syringe, label, etc. Right. So we're going to do again channel B, more options, calc on. Right. We're going we're not going to select the drug. We're going to say uh, generic drug. So weight, we said 80 kilos, right? So we're going to go up 70, 75, 80 kilos, which is equivalent to 176.3 pounds. It automatically does that for you, right? So concentration, we said it's right here. It's 500 milligrams and 250 ml of D5W. So 500, so fast. Five hundred, check, enter. So this is this is uh, milligrams again. Make sure you you always double check the units. Milligrams check, and it's in uh, two fifty. All right, enter. Right. So now we're looking. What's the dosage? Right. So let's uh, make it ten as well. It's between two point five and fifteen. So let's keep it at ten. Let's check it out. So. We, we, this is correct. So micrograms, kilogram a minute, and we're going to say 10. Sorry, down, 10. Double check, enter. So the calculation it gives you is 24 mLs an hour. So we double check 10. 
with 80, so it's 24. So again, the pump was correct, and this is, you already know, volume remaining, you're going to check the back. Volume infused is none, you gave nothing. Dose infused is none. However, whenever you arrive at the facility, whenever you do a handoff, and this is the moment the doctor asks you, how many milligrams did the patient receive? Right? You look over here, right? And you tell them, okay, patient got, you know, 40 milligrams. Patient got this milligrams. He didn't get mLs per hour because mLs per hour is not a, a medication uh, order unless you're infusing fluids. I want to show you last one. This is heparin. This is the mostly encountered one. It's also weight-based, but you will see it uh, quite often. Channel C now, right? Again, remember, more options, calc on, done, right? Drug, generic, check. So let's go back. Skip. Weight 80. Check. Right? So concentration. Right? We said 25,000 units. So fast. So it's going to switch. It's going to say K once it's in the thousands. 10K, 25K. So 25K is 25,000 units. Enter. So now we got to select from these options the proper units. This is very important. So milligrams, grams, units. Right, UN is for units, check. So MLs is going to be 500, check, right? So the initial dose for the 80 pound person, right? We're going to do, let's pick 15. 15 units per kilogram per hour. 15 units per kilogram per hour. So here we're going to go units per kilogram, check, per hour. So min is, is not the proper one, per hour, check. And we said 15. So check. So let's see if, if, if it was correct. So at 15, right, our patient is 80 pound, 80 kilograms, sorry, and it should be 24 mLs an hour. So again, the machine is correct, right? You double check your parameters, volume remaining, is you check the bag, volume infused none, drug infused, uh, dose infused, you'll tell the physician upon your arrival. So this is how you set up. And one important thing, how you exit out of the calculator. It's very simple. So after you infuse, you stop, right, your medicine. So you do more options again, and it says calc off, right? Channel B, more options, calc off. Channel A, right, more options, calc off. And then you just end the display and you're back into your original pump mode. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to post it on my website. If you have any questions, you could post them below.